Dave, you're one of the men behind the curtain. You're, you're one of the guys that the normal Wheatstone customer doesn't get a chance to interact with very much, but you've been a part of the development team for years now. It's nice being below the radar. <laughs> you get to run silent, run deep. Yes. <laughs> what was it like developing the, the bridge way back when? It was obvious that we needed to get into a, a, a bridge system, a router-based system, because the analog days were coming kind of to their end. So we were tasked with, well, how are you going to do that? Um, we knew it would take a lot of signaling on a backplane to be able to toss audio back and forth. And in all honesty, I called up a friend of mine that was working down in the uh, Bell Labs research area, a guy I had previously worked with, and said, hey, can we do GTL signaling on a rack space back, 19-inch backplane at 25 megahertz? He says, yeah, we're doing it. I said, okay, we solved that part of the problem. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we're going to use, GTL signaling. That allowed us to put together a system that in its infancy was a minimally working system and then continue to keep adding performance and features to that set as this thing grew from nothing more than a little bridge audio router to a massive, uh, redundant wheat net, uh, 25 studios, uh, however you wanted to do this thing, make it as big as we did. Mm -hmm. um, so we really leveraged the FPGA technology in this thing and allowed us to obviously keep making changes and updating, making it better, bigger. It, it was the, uh, the right path to take. And we're now about 10 or 12 years after the, the beginnings of it, and it still works like a champ. Oh, it's been and, rock solid in, mm -hmm. in uh, lots of big installations. TV and radio. Yeah, yeah. So once we had that in place, you know, now it was time to start building digital surfaces that would work with that system. And now our, our first surface was the D5-1, which was a very big Cadillac surface. And uh, it forced us to build pieces of IP and stuff that we needed to support the stuff that was in there. And I believe, I have a recollection, there's over 6,000 LEDs mm -hmm. that we control on a D5-1 surface. I started with the the most uh, complicated and diverse feature set first. So we got the hard part out of the way, in other words, and then scaled it back right. rather than starting small and trying to pile a lot onto it to get to the top of the mountain. We started at the top of the mountain and we we're, were able to come down and develop a whole uh, series of products or control surfaces that were based on the same technology but used subsets of, of the of the core feature set.